Um. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone, to Phoenix Wright Trials and the Tribulations. Oh my god. What do we even do? <sighs> I'm sorry, I guess a lot of people were like surprised at my reaction to this guy. I guess a lot of people must have like reacted maybe unfavorably to this man. I'm not. I think he's kind of cute. I don't know, there's something a little charming about him. Even though everyone let me know that he's actually not really French, he's like pretending to be French and his French is supposed to be like super bad. That's fine with me. Works out because I don't speak no French, I'm just winging it here. Alright, well in the last one we talked to him and there's a whole bunch of crap going on. I don't know, I want to talk to him about Maggie's motive because I think he maybe knows something that he's not letting on just yet? Let's find out. We're still a little too early for me to draw any conclusions, though. When Maggie took the coffee over to the victim, did anything happen? Ooh, 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 I suppose you could say so. So, what happened? Oh uh, no, it was a- uh, it was nothing. What? Are you lying to me? Look, Maggie says she didn't even know the guy. But she's still being indicted for murder? The prosecution must have come up with some kind of motive. We, oui, it is too. If there was anything at all between Maggie and the victim, it could be relevant. Yeah, please help us. So please, tell us anything you know. Oh, he's lying. <gasps> Jean, how could you do this? Oh, and I thought you were so sweet. A cyclock. <laughs> More than one. No way. What are we going to do, Nick? We'll just have to remove... What the... What's wrong? The Magatama. It's gone. Wait, it is? Wait, no, it's not. It is. Uh, wait, when did that happen? Wait, didn't we just check this a little while ago? Uh-oh. Uh wait, how did that happen? Wait, did, did I... Did I oh, God, I hope I didn't do something wrong. Did I lose it? Huh? I had it in my pocket, but it's vanished into thin air. Oh, God, did we drop it when we took out our... Our badge for Maggie to bite on earlier? That's the only time I was rummaging around in the court record, I think. What? Okay, this is bad. But I could see the psych lock. That's true, though. We didn't have it on us, but we could still see. Maybe that means the Magatama's nearby? Oh. Uh, Mr. Armstrong? Could I just confirm something with you again? The table where the victim was sitting. Was anyone else sitting there? Oh, is he going to be truthful, though, about this? Probably not. That is a question you will have to ask him yourself. Huh? Im? La old man spends all his time down the park. La la park? Oh, a park. What park's that? Behind la restaurant. It's called Vitamin Square. Thank you. Je vous pretty, my dear. Let's go check this out right now, blah. Oh my god, the transition from French to English is gonna be the death of me, you guys. The death. Well, I guess we can't do anything about this. When the hell was that thing stolen from me? Did someone pickpocket me or something? Well, I'll get to the bottom of this. Don't you worry about that, Mr. Jean-Claude. We're going. Alright, well, I guess we're going to Vitamin Square. Let's go. Oh god, an old man, huh? Well, oh my god. This is like better than the McDonald's play place. Look at this, all that's missing is the cheeseburger guy. The jail with the cheeseburger head? Yeah, you guys know what I'm talking about. Look at all the birds! So this is Vitamin Square. Yeah, I guess where they get the name from now. The fruit scream vitamins at you! It does look really cheery, doesn't it? Hey, Nick! That's the guy, right? Isn't that the old man Mr. Armstrong was talking about? What do you mean? It, just You're just pointing at an old man? It could be any old man. He didn't really say anything else about him. The grouchy-looking grandpa? Oh boy, I can't wait for this. He's throwing seeds out for the pigeons. Well, that's nice. At least he's being nice to them. My, he's not throwing seeds for them. He's throwing seeds at them. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. What the hell? What the shit? What is wrong with that dude's nose? Ew. What the hell? Ugh. No, no, no. I don't like this. No, what? What you got one sleeve off for? What you some kind of... You some kind of warrior or something. Oh, my grumpiness threat level has just been raised to red. Ew! What the shit? He's worse than old bag! How is that even possible? Okay, fine. Oh, I have no idea what kind of voice I'm gonna give this dude. Let's just see. Hello? Sir? Maybe you should blow your nose. Maybe I've got a Kleenex here or something. I don't know. Uh, excuse me? Hello? Sir? Oh my god. Would you mind if I had a word with you? Yes! 
I just want to ask you a couple of questions. What's the matter with you? Can't you see I'm busy? So, you don't like my seeds, eh, pigeons? Oh no, stop, wait, I'm not a pigeon. Stop throwing that shit at me, please. He's really chucking those seeds at him. That's gotta hurt, leave him alone. How dare you? Go on, eat this. Ugh. I don't know if that's the voice I'm gonna stick with. I gotta, I gotta see what this dude's all about. I'm in shock, you see. Uh, hello, can you please talk to us about somebody? Oh my god, is this gonna get us anywhere? What is this music? It's military music. <laughs> Uh, excuse me, sir. Can I ask you about Maggie Bird? I don't know any Maggie Bird. Yes, you do. Maggie, the waitress at Très Bien. Ah! It's a disgrace, I tell you. Another disgrace. A disgrace? Eh, an innocent young girl revealing herself like that. Isn't that why you went? Come on, you can be, you can be frank with me, dude. Let's <laughs> not mince words. Revealing? You mean her uniform? I don't remember it being all that revealing. Does he mean like her legs or something? The youth of today, they don't have any shame. No shame, I tell you, not one ounce. Whatever happened to the old Bushido values of Japan, like honor and modesty? Uh, dude, this is not... We're not in the samurai times anymore. If that was true, you couldn't go to a French restaurant, so don't complain. What about me? I'm not wearing anything revealing. You! Your problem is you lack any sense of grace. Uh-oh. Oh no. Oh, that wasn't nice. <laughs> Talk about hitting a girl where it hurts. Maya, don't listen to him. Look at him. Who, you think you're R or something with your one your one sleeve? You ain't nothing. <laughs> you ain't bad. You ain't nothing. You're sitting here hanging out at a kid's park throwing seeds at birds. What's your deal? Do you go to Trebian a lot? Bleh. That miserable excuse for a restaurant? That garbage they serve and there's not food? Where's the sushi? The tempura? The right? It's a French restaurant, you dork. Can you not read? Maybe that giant ass, like... Bingo schnoz is in the way and you can't see nothing. Trebian is a French restaurant, sir. Where do you think we are, boy, in Paris? I want real food. <laughs> I need food. Not those snooty snacks. Oh my god, he looks like Anpanman now. Japanese people will know what that means. Or Bozo. American people might know what that means. What about those shapeless girls? You mean the waitresses? That's why you go there, don't even lie. You can see all the way up to their... their... Ugh. Yeah, the waitresses. They're practically naked. It's a disgrace, isn't it? Well, isn't it? Listen, it's not my restaurant. Bah! It's a miserable excuse for a restaurant that place. Miserable. He certainly knows the place. He must be a regular. Exactly. He's nasty. Mm-mm. If he hates so much, why does he keep going? Exactly. Tell us about that. Jesus. What a weird guy. Are you regular at that restaurant, sir? Are you? You can tell us. Uh, it's just if you dislike it so much, why would you keep going there? Thank you. Yeah, you got nothing to say now, do you? You really need to blow your nose. That's disgusting. Yeah, 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 filthy pigeons. You want food? <laughs> Take that. Oh, the dude's mental. He must be hiding something, right? If he is, I should be able to see a cyclock. Oh, wait. No, we don't have the Magatama with us, though. Is it so is it gonna work properly? Probably not. I don't exactly have the Magatama right now, huh? Remember, Nick, the Magatama's only on loan. You'd better find it or else. Oh, great. If Pearl's ever gets wind of this, I'm going to be in a world of pain. Well, we're not going to tell her, are we? God, good God, what do we do with this man? Do I have anything I can present? We have the magazine. Article says I was trounced and found guilty. Sports paper. Check for details. That's all the same. Huh. Alright, well, maybe we can look around here where he's standing? Let's try that, then. It looks like there's some stuff to look at. There's like a sandcastle, that looks fun, but really what my eye is drawn to is right here. What's this? Ooh, there's a magazine here. It's a magazine full of job listings. You disgusting rogue, pick it up, some, someone else threw away. Threw away? Did you throw this away? Are you looking for a job? That's none of your business. Wow, he really does look like Anpan Man from the front. From the side, though? This is nasty. Sorry, I guess I'll just take the magazine with me, then. I don't want anyone else having it. Give it back. Boy, he's like the typical crotchety old man. Like, nothing's good enough, eh? Too bad. Now that you want it so bad, I don't want to give it up. Wow, Phoenix is rude. <laughs> Phoenix just stole from an elderly person. Oh, well. Hey, that's mine. Sorry, his voice is changing all the time. I, I literally, like, don't even know what to do with this guy. 
Uh, what, what is this? Job listings. Picked up from a bench in Vitamin Square, thrown away by the old man. You can't check it or anything. What could this... Hmm. What could this mean? Do I have to show that to somebody? Do I have to show it to him? Hey, dude! Got your magazine. <laughs> uh, excuse me, sir. Could I just ask you about this? <laughs> sir? Here you go, boy. How does some pigeon feed sound to you? Oh! It's pelting me with seed. Don't throw your seed on me, sir. That's nasty. Alright, fine. How about this? You ever seen something like this before? Now that it's got teeth marks in it, I'm sure it'll make a big impression. Look at this badge! Uh, excuse me, sir, could I ask you about this? Oh, <laughs> oh no, it looks like it's gonna be the same. Yup. Well, that didn't work. Fine. Should we leave that? Oh god, this guy's just, ew, he's freaking me out a little bit, I'm gonna be honest. Alright, fine, let's just go back here. Oh. Hi. I don't know, I'm just gonna present everything then. Should I just present what we just got? Wait, did I- hang on, did I actually show him this? I'm gonna do it. Look at this badge! Please, monsieur, there is no need to show me that. You are more Phoenix Wright, the worst defense lawyer in town. Oh. Uh-oh. I think I can imagine how he formed this completely wrong impression of me. Yeah, me too. Uh, the last time we met, did I show you this badge? We. Oui. You flashed it to everyone in La Restaurant. What, what did I flash again? Oh. Looks like Jinop is a bigger fan of flashing stuff than you are. Ew, no. Nick's gotta be the best flasher in town. Oh, Nick, he can't steal your reputation like this. Oh, please. All right, fine. Uh, should I give him this as well? Also, I might want to do the sports paper and see if that does anything. Mademoiselle. Yeah? Are you looking for a job? What? Oh. Wait, does he have a job listing in there? What? No, no, I was just... Let me see. Your style is all plus different, but you have a good face. Different? Felicitations! You have passed. I will hire you. Bien, come with me. Uh, oh, uh, what? Wait, no, I need her. I'll teach you everything I know. Oh, get ready, Maya, to be in that gay doge I talked about earlier. Nick, help! Oh, she's gone. Oh my god, he stole her. Great. I don't know whether to laugh or feel bad for Maya. Maybe I should do both. Aw, oh, crap, what's gonna happen to her now? Uh, hello? Maya's gone. Wait, what do I do? Uh, is she, is she over? No. No, she's... Really? Do I leave? What do I do? Oh my god. Okay, fine. Guys, I don't know. <laughs> Let's just go somewhere else. We'll just leave Maya here. She'll be absolutely fine. Completely. Alright, good. Oh, hello. Do I need to do anything here yet, I wonder? Looks like they have Maggie in questioning. I guess I've asked her pretty much everything. Oh, okay. I'll come back here if there's anything else I need to ask her later. Oh, I see. Okay, so they're telling me I can basically move on. Well, we haven't gone to criminal affairs yet. Maybe that's where I have to go now. Without Maya? Oh, I feel bad. Alright. Well, let's start working in here. Oh, look! They've got more than one badger back there now. They've got pink one, too. Isn't that cute? Well, pal, have you found the evidence yet? The one that's gonna find her innocent. Oh, now I see why Gumshoe's so upset about all this. It all makes sense now. He's got a crush on Maggie still, doesn't he? Uh, no, not yet. We've only just started our investigation. Well, whatever you need to know, I'll give you the dirt on it. Yeah, he's willing to help us now. I'm putting off all my other cases for now, pal. Gumshoe's really fired up about this. He likes Maggie, though. It's so cute. Oh, yeah, one more thing. Uh, the retrial's been approved. Court's sitting at 10 a.m. tomorrow. Oh, good. But that doesn't give us much time, does it? Gatto's gonna be the prosecutor. Of course. It's probably gonna be it for the whole the whole game. He's our he's our dude. Oh, him. Phoenix, don't act like you don't have a small crush on him, because I know that you do. Now listen up, pal. If Maggie's found guilty again... Yeah? Uh, I'll... I'll make sure you get locked up good for it. You got it? Don't worry. Everything's gonna be okay. Alright, talk to me, bro. You're right. It's okay. We'll, we'll get through this together somehow. So, the guilty party was Maggie Bird, huh? Yeah. Back when she was on the police force. You were her mentor when she was a rookie, right? Boy, it seems like she's followed in his bad luck, doesn't it? God. Yeah, I kept a close eye on her. Uh, 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 I mean, not too close, you know. It's okay, Gumshoe. I get it. She's cute. I understand. Hey, what's with the funny looks, pal? I, I was just a... It wasn't anything like... Look, sure, I was a boss when she was doing a training, 
But that was it. Nothing happened. Gumshoe sure is sweating up a storm over nothing. Well, it ain't nothing. We know that. Ah, oh, so that's it. Our big old Gumshoe has a little crush on Maggie. Phoenix? It took you like five years to figure this shit out. Come on, man. Why are, why are you so dim? I, I don't like her, Rennington. The fact that you had to scream that out totally gives you away, bro. I was- ugh. Note to self. Gossip with Maya about this later. Oh yeah, too bad she's not here. Oh man, she would eat this up. Look, pal, don't tell anyone, okay? You gotta keep it a secret, got it? Uh, sure. And would you mind not guessing what I'm thinking all the time? Hey, tell your face, pal. Not me. You'd have to be blind not to see what's on your mind. Well, I mean, you pretty much just told me everything, too. You're no better. So I was wondering, could you fill me in on the victim? Oh my god, look at him. What is it? What is with that freaking Dragon Ball Z eyepiece? What is that? Glenn Elk. He was a computer programmer. What is- oh, his- his name. Oh, I see. It's the same backwards and forwards, is it? I see a programmer. He was just a regular Joe working for a small-time computer firm. Maggie never had any contact with the guy before that day. And all she did was take him his coffee on the day of the murder. Yeah, but then she was planted with stuff and then it just looked ultra bad, didn't it? Yeah, Maggie also never claimed to see the guy before. Did the victim go to the restaurant often? Not according to the chef. Said it was the first time he'd seen the guy. A programmer and a first-time customer? He must have been asked there by the other guy. No? What possible reason could Maggie have had to kill a guy like that? Yeah, she has like absolutely no motive. That's what I thought. But a motive was still somehow established in a trial. You're kidding. What was her supposed motive? Sorry, pal. I'm real busy. I haven't even gotten enough time to sift through these papers. Oh no, they probably got her on something really stupid. Like maybe... I don't know, it was probably something that happened like at present time. Like maybe he like, slapped her butt or he was rude to her or something. I don't know, they're probably gonna spin it in that crappy way, aren't they? Alright, we'll look into it. What could this motive have been? We'll have to find out. How's the investigation coming, bro? This isn't really a proper investigation. I'm kind of working on it by myself. Yeah, it's more personal, I was saying, huh? Poor guy. That's right. The judge already ruled on the case and all the evidence is in already. The only problem is with Maggie's testimony. Yeah, it doesn't sound very good for us, huh? Look, pal, I got a mountain of papers on this case to look over before tomorrow. So I'm just gonna say this. Maggie Bird's no liar. I don't think she is either. She's, she's, uh, okay, so she's a bit out there and a bit off base sometimes, but she was a real good cop. That's not exactly complimentary, you know. So what do you think really happened? And just how contradictory is her testimony? That's what I'm wondering about. Well, I'm sure whoever was pretending to be a spin it in like the worst way possible. The biggest problem with Maggie's testimony is a number of people at the table. Yeah, my thoughts exactly. Yeah, she keeps saying that she saw two people. Maggie still insists there was another guy sitting with the victim. Right, but get this. Everyone else in the place says the guy was alone, even the chef. How could that be, though? And then there's that CD. CD? Oh, oh yeah, she did mention something about a CD. And there was a sample CD on the table, sir. Yeah, we remember that. But our guys turned that place upside down. There was no CD. What? Not on the table, not anywhere in the whole restaurant. It must be with the dude that disappeared then, you know? But didn't Maggie say the victim was wearing an earpiece too? Yeah, but that was for the portable radio in the front pocket of his hoodie. Well, what was the DBZ eyepiece for then? A radio? He didn't have a CD player? You got it. Your phony never explained that contradiction at all. Come to think of it, the owner of Trebian didn't mention the CD either. I don't know why, but I get the feeling Mr. Armstrong's got something to hide. He definitely does. We have a psych lock on him. Hmm. Uh, is there anything I can show Gumshoe at this, at this point? Well, of course, I'm gonna start with this, just to see if there's anything different. Hey, babes, look at this badge. Oh, shoot, I'm not on present. I've done it again. I'm the best lawyer ever. Here we go. <laughs> is that thing real, pal? Why does everyone keep asking me that? I wonder what this phony of yours is like. He had Maggie found guilty of murder. Doesn't that tell you? I've got to track this creep down. Yeah, we certainly do. Okay, well, let's show him everything, maybe, and see. Um, I mean, let's see what he has to say about this, too. I wasn't at the trial myself, but I asked this one detective how I know how your defense was. What did he say? He started off by saying, I'm at complete loss for words. Oh, man. How come no one could tell at that point that something was wrong? Has 
to be an inside job. People must be conspiring against me. But he must have found some quick because he went on about how bad you were for an hour. But... He said you suck so much it seems like you were trying to get Maggie found guilty. Exactly. Oh no. Looked like I was trying to get Maggie found guilty? That's bad. What about this? What's that? A sports paper? Yeah, I found it in the magazine rack at Chevian. It's dated the same day as the murder. You may be onto something here. Take a look at this. See this writing here? MC Bomber. Hey! What is it? I've heard that name somewhere before. Yeah! MC Bomber! Wow, he actually seems to be thinking for once. Ah, it's no good. I can't remember. Oops. Oh well. And he goes back to being the gumshoe we all know and love. Well, Phoenix, don't be too hard on him. He's the only one helping us right now. Hey, pal, I'm gonna borrow this paper for a bit, okay? Oh. I wanna get a handwriting analysis done on the scribble. Well, that's a good idea. Handwriting, huh? Be good to know more about that in any case. Good job, Gumshoe, take that. Guess we don't need it for a while. Thanks, pal. I bet the list turned out to be an interesting clue. Oh, sorry, I thought this was a case. Sports paper given to Detective Gumshoe, okay. Um, well, what about this? Should we show him this as well? Well, let's just try it. Would you like a job being a waitress? I'd like to see you in the outfit. Oh, I mean, what? What do you make of this? Sorry, pal. All I can think about is Maggie at the moment. Okay, this is nothing. No, I didn't mean it like that. I meant... It's okay. Exactly. Phoenix says you don't have to explain. It, my thoughts exactly. Maybe we should present like a profile? All right, well, let's do that. Let's go ahead. Well, let's start with everyone. Why is Mia in here already? I guess she's maybe just there. What do you think of Maya? She's cute too, right? Hey, so how come she's not with you today? She's working down at the restaurant right now. Working, huh? Yeah, it's tough being broke. I would know. Uh, okay. Next time I see her, I'll show her how to make the world's best instant noodles. Aw, oh, she'll like that. We low earners have to stick together. It's the only way. Uh, why is he shaking my hand with such enthusiasm? I don't know. Uh, let's go ahead and also show Maggie's, maybe. Have you gone to see her? Of course I have, but I... I wasn't much good at consoling her. I I'm not very good with words. Oh, well, I'm sure she appreciated you just being there, dude. Yeah, I guess I must have looked a bit down. Maggie was really supportive of me. It was great to have someone to talk to. Did he go for her or for himself? It doesn't matter, Phoenix. It's the thought that counts. What do you think of this dude? Can we talk about him for a minute? The chef of Trey Bien, huh? You know what that chef said to me? Ooh la la, your body's full of toxins. And then he gave me this bottle. What's in it? I don't know. The label says juniper. Oh, juniper berry, is it? I'm under orders to put a few drops of it in my bath every day. Yeah, that'll wake you up. Very refreshing. Under orders? Yeah, you know, there's something about that lady. I, I, I mean, guy? Pfft, he's clearly not a lady. I don't think anyone could make that mistake. Huh? You can't stop thinking about him? Not like Dad, pal. Give me a break. He's not my type. I, I mean, I can't stop thinking that he's involved in with the case somehow. I'm starting to wonder, too. At least it's suspicious that he's hiding things from us, and I don't like that. Sounds like he knows a little something more about our charming chef. Uh, oh. Well, can we... Did something open up for that? Let's take a look. Aha, yes. The charming chef. So what exactly is it that caught your attention about the chef at Chebien? It's, uh... It's kind of hard to say. The, the guy's probably not even connected with the case anyway. But hey, come on, detective. Didn't you say you'd give me the dirt on anything? Well... This sort of stuff is kind of unimportant. Gossipy stuff, you know? Hey, that's my favorite kind of crap. Lay it on me. Look, how about this? You go to Trebian and investigate the place yourself. And if you find out anything suspicious about the guy, you report back to me, okay? Why could you just tell me? Oh man. Fine. Uh, don't suppose I get a choice in this, huh? Guess I'd better find out more about the chef and Trebian than report back. Didn't we already look at everything, though? Alright, fine, I'm moving. I just want to examine this real quick before we leave. What's, uh, what's these guys doing? No matter what, whenever I come here, that mascot's there to greet me. But there's a second one now. You got that right, that's the Blue Badger. It was my idea, I made it, and now it's the national symbol of the police force. Good for you. So what's with the pink one? It's new, right? Yup, meet the Pink Badger. So, one's called Blue, and the other's called Pink. But they're both called Badger? You got it. They're married. Is he just like... <laughs> He's just living out his, like, fan fiction of these two. Oh my god. So should I expect to see Baby Badger next time I'm here? It's questions for the ages. Alright, fine. Let's get out of here. Uh, let's go ahead and go to Chebian. 
Um, I think we can go from here. Let's go. No one's here yet. Maggie's still busy. All right, maybe we can pull Maya out of whatever predicament she's got herself in as well. Here we are. The scent of flowers sure is strong. It's almost making me dizzy. <gasps> oh my gosh, hello! How are you? Are you all right? Um, are you lost? Oh my, that's a weird sight to see suddenly. Oh, hello. Uh, hello? Who was that just now? A customer? Oh, did she just leave? Did we run into her at the door? Probably. She had a sort of dark aura about her. She did look a bit strange. And she was also hurt. Uh, welcome, B Avenue. If that's Maya, I swear to God. Wow, what a cute voice. <gasps> oh my gosh! Look at Maya! She's so cute! Yay! Oh, girl, you look fabulous! Oh, it's just you, Nick. Maya! Well, how do I look? Oh my gosh, she's adorable! Phoenix, say something. You know she's cute, dude. Don't drop the ball on this one. Maybe you should quit being a spirit medium. Well, I guess that's the best we're gonna get. God. Oh. Maybe, but it's kind of boring being a waitress. You do look adorable, though. I mean, you're my first ever customer. Then who was that woman I just saw? Oh, oh, oh! Since you're here, you might as well have something to eat. I am kind of hungry, actually. Oh, why don't we help her out? Oh my god. Alright, well, let's- can you help me? Oh my god, she looks so cute! I'm with it. Alright, how do you like being a waitress so far? How do you like your new job, Maya? I never knew there was so much for a waitress to do! Take people's orders, bring them their food, make coffee, work the cash register. Of course, we need a customer before I can do any of that. Yeah, it's a nice looking restaurant. It's a shame more people don't come. Don't forget about the ultra cute waitress. Check out my give me a tip smile. <laughs> yeah, I think you've got it down pat. You're about to make a ton of money. Hey Nick, why don't you order something? The chef's preparing a tasty lunch set at the moment, so he says. How much is it? It's the twin tea set, so it's $20 of course. Wow, $20 for lunch. Better be good. Twin tea set? I believe I'll be taking a pass. It's kind of expensive. What? But you can't. Come on, Nick. It's not every day I get to be a waitress. I want to try carrying plates and working the cash register. How about cleaning the toilets? That should keep you busy. Yeah, right. Maybe later. Uh, about the lunch. Oh, a fine choice, sir. No, I, uh... Oh, I guess we're being sad, are we? Kitchen, a lunch special, please. With all the extras, drink, side salad, dessert, and gift. I don't need any of that. Well, we're getting it. Just a moment, please, sir. Can we sit? I want to sit down. Maya's really getting into this. She is, it's so cute. So how much is this set lunch then? $20, huh? But with the drink, side salad, and dessert, it's $45? Whoa, girl, you better enjoy that. Hey, wait a sec, Maya. Sorry to keep you waiting, sir. Here you are, our deluxe fortify lunch set. Wow, that looks delicious. It looks like lobster. Well, Phoenix, if you're having lobster, I mean, $45 is really not that bad. Just deal with it, man. It looks delicious. Whoa. A dish inspired by lobster and abalone fricassee with balsamic vinaigrette. That sounds fantastic. Bon appetit. Uh, thanks. Oh, I wish we could sit down somewhere. Come on, Nick. Hurry up and try it already. Lobster, huh? All right. Down the hatch it goes. Do you like it? Uh. Well? Are you hungry, Maya? I'm starving. Here, it's yours. Really? I is it not good? Oh. Remember, Maya... My wallet doesn't print money, so you better polish off that plate. It's not- it's not good? It looks so good, though. I've just remembered, I've gotta clean the toilets! Oh, she's gone. <laughs> hey! Wow, it must be shit. <laughs> she's gonna go clean the toilets instead. You can't be in that much of a hurry to clean the toilets. You don't know. Oh, we took it with us. That's how bad it was. Oh, maybe we can go throw it at the old man in the park. Wow, I'd like to do that. <laughs> how does that guy manage to make good food taste so bad? Hey, Nick, you want to take a peek at the kitchen? Oh, yeah, that would probably be good, actually. Kitchen, huh? Not a bad idea. Let's go. Can we do that? Hmm, now what was it that Maggie said again? In the kitchen, you get to see all of the chef's greatest secrets. In the kitchen? Yeah, that sounds tasty. Uh... Hey, wait up, Maya! What is it? I'm pretty busy right now. Weren't you going to show me around? Oh, 
That goes my plan to find some cool clue and show it off in your face. I'd better conduct the search in the kitchen myself. I guess we can go? Do we have to move there, do we? Probably. Let's go. Aha! Uh -huh. Wait, is is Jean gonna be in there? Oh my god! <gasps> Look at this! I would kill to cook in a kitchen like this! It's so girly! Wow! Here it is! The famous Trevian kitchen! It's my first time in here too, actually. Wait, he didn't let you in here before? There's a weird atmosphere in here, that's for sure. Please tell me he's not, like, putting the aromatherapy oils, like, in the food, and that's why it tastes bad, because that would definitely taste terrible. Also, there's many essential oils you shouldn't even ingest. Mr. Armstrong will be back soon, so we better search quickly. Chop, chop! Let's look quick, then. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's just look at everything. What's this? Now I know I'm in a French restaurant. I've never heard of most of these seasonings. Hey, Nick, this container has oyster sauce? What's that? That's a Chinese flavoring. Sure, the Japanese know what that is. Come on. Is that using Chinese food? See, even Phoenix knows. Oh, look, right there on the counter. <gasps> My Magatama, what's it doing here? Oh, thank God we found it. What indeed? D did John pickpocket me? Oh, dear. Well, good, we got that back at the very least. Thank goodness. All right, fine. Um, well, this obviously stands out right here. What's this? It looks like a treasure chest or something. Wow, look at all these little bottles. Oh, they're all aromatherapy oils. He's got so many. They're overflowing onto the floor. Let's see, one, two, three, 98, 9900. They're all the same too. Hey, wait a minute. What is it? There's one bottle that's different from all the others. Well, what do you know? And it doesn't have a label either. And it doesn't smell. So what's that liquid inside then, I wonder? Uh-oh. Hey, Nick, we should borrow it. I mean, look how many bottles he's got. He won't miss one, will he? I think you're right about that. It looks like nail polish. Beautiful. Uh... Anything else? What are these lace curtains for? For prettiness, of course. I don't know, but they give the place a real homey feel, don't they? Yeah, but you really probably shouldn't have all this, like, fabric around, like, open flames and where you cook. It's probably a bad idea. Ew, they're probably all covered with, like, kitchen film and grease. It's nasty. You know, if I was cooking pot, I'd be perfectly happy to sit on a shelf under those. How do you respond to something like that? I don't know, Phoenix. Maybe it's a girl thing. Look at all these knives. Maybe he murdered someone with it. Oh, is it the... Oh, it's the same? Oh, oh man. Fine, I'm sorry. It's all the same for that one counter, my bee. Alright, yes, yes, I get it. Wait, they're talking about cheesecake now? Oh, now they're talking about the knives. Oops, I'm sorry, I might have gone by that. A cheesecake? You don't exactly need a sharp knife for one of those. Oh my god, I had cheesecake yesterday. For my Christmas dinner, and it was delicious, you guys. I hope you had a lovely holiday dinner, too. That smells good. Something's bubbling away nicely in that pot. Must be the lobster and abalone fricassee with balsamic vinaigrette. Yeah, but you said yours wasn't good. Isn't that what I just ate for lunch? Maybe. What you ate is the only French dish I know the name of. Maybe you should try it. All right, anyway. Anything here? Now this is one large mirror. I bet this is where he makes himself look pretty. There's a book on the dresser. Clarice Armstrong's Bedtime Literature. Not exactly Pulitzer Prize material, is it? Like you would know what Pulitzer Prize material was? It looks like a collection of poems he's written. Poems? Cool. Read one out. And say it in your best French accent with intensity, okay? Alright, here we go. Okay, here's one. It's called Printemps. The two of them, like actors from a film. The coffee, still on drunk. Sweet nothings over too soon on that sad Sunday morning. The foolish cocktail so delicious. Take the last sip of your tea and I know what I will do. I must lie to you. I must. Oh. Is that foreshadowing? Huh? That's it? Yep, that's a poem for you. Uh... Alright, is, is that everything? Looks like we pretty much got everything in here. Hmm. Alright, fine. Well, let's get out of here before he finds us, I guess. Well, I guess in the next one, we're gonna have to go back, and I think I know what we're gonna have to do. Maybe I should take that bottle down to Gumshoe? Maybe he can, like, analyze it or something. That's the only thing I've got in my head right now. So in the next one, we'll do that. Thanks for watching so much, you guys. I hope you liked the video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.